Well, then one and three for the record, but you already know. Okay, okay. So, I'm gonna start this from the beginning. Um, where did you? When did you first start out rapping? Oh uh, man, I started out rapping when I was like, officially when I was nine years old. Uh, I used to I've had it in my blood since I was a little nigga, but you know, since I was nine to be honest. Okay, okay. So, where did you like originally grow up? Like uh, in the I city? I grew up in the West End. The West End, seven one twenty. You know, for those that know. Okay. On the chain, you know? okay, okay. So, how do you feel about um, the music scene that's going on right now in the area that you came from? Like, uh, is there a big music scene in your uh, neighborhood where you grew up? Yeah, yeah, it's a big music scene right now, okay. you know? And it's doing real good. I feel good about it, you know? Everybody's doing their thing, you know? I give everybody their props, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. We all come together as a team and, you know, we do what we do. Mm -hmm. So, how did you originally uh, get the name K9? Uh, yeah, so basically, my first name. Uh, so that's for the K, right? Okay. And then, like I said, I started rapping when I was nine, right? Oh, so, so you just I, put yeah, it together. Yeah, my pops put it together, whatever. But we flipped the name now because there's a lot of canines running around out there, you know what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. So, like, yeah, we just switched it to N1 and N3, you know? So, okay. Yeah. All right, so growing up, like, what was your fa your favorite artist that you would bump growing up? On a regular? Like? Yeah. Um, it's a lot, you know. But, yeah, it's funny as it is, it's Boston, to be totally honest. You know? Buster Rhymes. Yeah, Buster okay, Rhymes, okay. You know Buster and Meth and you know all this type of thing. Okay. It was his Rhymes uniqueness and his creativity, to be totally honest, you know what okay. I'm saying? And he has bars too, but it's really like his uniqueness and his creativity and how he, he gets his stuff off, you know? Facts, facts. So if you could collab with any artist, would Buster Rhymes be the artist you could collab with? Like any artist any that's artist going on right ever? now? Yeah, ever, yeah. Mm, to be totally honest, probably be... Mm. If I had to say one, I'd probably pick Method Man, to be totally honest. Method Man, okay. Method Man, for real, for real, yeah. Okay, okay. So, um, right now, the way the music scene is going on right now, it's almost as if, like, the image is almost more important than the music, the way that people look at it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you feel like, um, do you feel like the image is actually important, or do you feel like the music is well, it's just going to speak for itself yeah, regardless? Well, it goes hand in hand, right? Like, the music should speak for itself first and foremost. Mm -hmm. But like, if you have the image to, to back it up, you know, it always helps because people, especially nowadays, people want to see. There's a lot right. of visual. They want to see the visual. They want to see the person behind what they're hearing. Right? Mm -hmm. So, the 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 your how you look is always matters. You know, you got to be presentable, marketable, professional. You know what I mean? Look professional, all that. You know, have a style to you. Cause then people can say, okay, I can see that. You know, the way he raps is. How he look, how he is, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's him for real, for real, not just a gimmick or whatever. So, 100. Yeah. So, um, all right. So, if you had the choice right now for signing to a major label or remaining independent, what would you recommend to like the young artists growing up? Like, oh uh, man, to the young artists coming up, to be totally honest, I say, uh, stay indie, you know. Okay. Stay okay. independent. Um, build your own buzz, build your own foundation, and then. Labels will eventually come knocking at the door, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then you guys could, like, if you got it proper like that and you have your stuff on smash and you got your professionalism on deck, you flip it and you just say, yo, let's do a 50-50 venture or, you know, you get a distribution deal or mm -hmm. whatever the case and you flow like that. At least you'll have a machine behind you where you knew that they came to you because of what you already are and mm -hmm. not like, oh, yeah, let's try to build you. But they don't even build artists no more. So to be totally honest, you really... Best thing to do is stay independent. You know what I mean? Fact, fact. Okay, so um, how do you feel COVID right now is affecting young artists trying to come up? Do you feel like it's harder right now because of COVID? Or? I mean, I feel like it's helping, but it's also like messed up. It's helping in the sense of everybody's in their house, everybody's home, everybody has to kind of be indoors and everybody's tuned in to like mm. social media and you know youtube or whatever so like right. they get to really peep and tune into what somebody's putting out there but mm. it also hurts because if you're buzzing you have no shows you yeah. can't do shows and i mean you can do the virtual shows but like that's not really much compared to like a live show that experience that feeling is a lot different than you know just doing something virtually so facts facts so um do you feel as though the bigger artists are doing their job right now or do you feel like they actually need to put on more for the for the younger artists? Like bigger artists as in like as in already like established artists? Drake, Tory Lanez, oh, Weekend. Okay. Like, um, they're, they're doing what they can, to be honest. They're doing what they can or what they want to do. 
you know? Like, they can't come and get everyone. Yeah, you can't yeah. pick up everyone, you right, know what I'm saying? Sucks. So you got to do it on your own, too, and get your own traction on your own. If they mm-hmm. fail you like that, they'll take you in and they'll say, all right, yo, let's, let's bring this guy up. But at the same time, you know, they're doing what they did just by putting the eyes on Toronto, to be honest. Yeah. So without them, we'd probably still be back in 05. Yeah, <laughs> you know facts, what I'm saying? Facts, With no facts. love, like, screw his capital, straight like that. So facts. they did what they do. They did what they had to do to, to show us off to the States and show us off to the world internationally, globally. So, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, in your opinion, what do you think is, like, the realest bar that you ever wrote so far? You had to choose one ever bar. Ever in my life? Ever in your life. Like, oh, this man. bar, you, it, like, you hold it to I a certain That holds weight for me? Yeah, it holds weight, yeah. Yo, that's a question that we have to come back to because, yeah, yo, yeah. that's a lot of thinking, bro. Or it could I be, bars like... for days. Like, you know, it's, it's one of those that I have to think that. about that one, for real. Or it could be, like... The realest song that you made, like this song is like the, the one that. The song I ever remember. made. Oh man. Yeah, again, so much in my head right now, I can't even piece it together right now. Yeah, off right. that. Just off those two questions, that's a hard one still. Yeah, yeah. yeah I got yeah. a lot of shit in the catalog, you know what I'm saying? Facts. So to like, just say, yo, this one, this one yeah, is yeah. hard, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, but. I feel that. So, do you got any, um, any mixtapes you got coming out? Yeah, I have a, I have an EP out right now already. Okay. It came out March 9th. Okay, um, okay. Called the Dark Heart EP. And, um, okay. yeah, that's like, based, that's where the, the single Love Sick came off of. And, you mm-hmm. know? Right, yeah, it's a good, good little vibe, you know? Good little vibe. Okay, facts.